Cheer up and smell the bullshit. The power of witchcraft is only in what it can make you believe. So witchcraft only has power if it can make you believe that it has power. So witchcraft has no power if no one believed it had power. And it's the same with anything. We are all believing machines and what we believe becomes our reality. You can't just fake a belief, you have to be really believe it. It has to make sense to you. And you can believe and give power to something which is wrong, is error. Because obviously people out there are believing millions of different things and they can't all be right. There is only one actual truth. But something can be true to you and therefore be real for a certain amount of time. Eventually you will come face to face with your error and yeah. It will, this is how we learn, this is how we learn, this is how God guides us. We give power to anything we believe, it becomes real, we live it, and we see then the errors in it. So coronavirus, it's a, it's, it's, it's a real thing. I mean, it's a man-made virus that they, you know, trying to spread all around the world for their hidden agendas, of which I think the main one here is to help the vaccination program. They won't vaccinate, probably, for this coronavirus, but in six months' time they'll be saying that they really should have vaccinated, that they could have vaccinated, that they should have vaccinated, that it would have saved a few thousand lives and isn't that worth it. So that next time the vaccination program will be put in place and seriously, that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to depend on someone sticking a needle deep into an archery and inject what they're calling DNA medicine technology. And it's, um, you know, the effects will go into months and then your body will revert to its uh, original DNA. Because luckily DNA has built-in fail-safes so that even if you know, they mess around with wheat or whatever. If you let that wheat grow and propagate, you know, took its seed the next year, within a few generations, the wheat will revert to uh, the natural state that it was. I mean, I don't know, you know, they've messed around with wheat for quite a long time, so that might take a while. But, <clears throat> so for example, also, if you left dogs to mate with who they wanted to mate with, da 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 da, within a few generations they'd quite possibly be going back to the natural gene state as they were, you know. So that's good isn't it, that it's built in, fail safe, so you can feel safe. And that's the truth as well, that you can always feel safe, but how many people believe that? And if more, if more people believed that truth, that would give it more power. Right. It is quite simple, but it's deep. Got to go deep with this stuff. So realise your own power. Realise the strength of what you believe and how it 
creates a reality around you which affects other people as well, affects everyone around you what you believe. So, cheer up and smell the bullshit. I did say 2020 going to be, well I didn't say it, it says it in Psalm 120, packed full of lies, all the lies. But I called to the God, I called to God and God answered me. It seems very true for the start of the year. Um, the media are pushing the coronavirus thing, right? They want it to create fear. They want it to be scary. They want to bring you down. At the beginning of the year we had the threat of World War Three people were saying. They want to keep us negative, keep us low, keep us weak, so they can inflict their belief system onto us and keep power in their, what they want you to believe. It's witchcraft. Don't give it power. All right, ciao.